Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Megan Sanchez. And I'm Jeremy Meyer. One student group at the University of Iowa is doing their part to try and eliminate discrimination on campus. Monday morning, the University of Iowa Students for Human Rights sent out an email to students addressing the Islamophobia and xenophobia spreading across America. The email wanted to send admiration and thanks to the students on campus who stay open to their fellow classmates of all backgrounds and to reiterate that intolerance and hatred should not be part of the Hawkeye campus. The Students for Human Rights said terrorism has no religion and encouraged students to welcome their fellow Hawkeyes wherever they come from. For some, walking on a glass walkway might be terrifying, but it's really terrifying if you step on a crack while suspended over a canyon. Just two weeks after its opening, a walkway in a park in China was closed after a crack on its glass walkway was reported. The walkway spans 260 meters, has a 68-meter glass bottom, and hangs over 1,000 meters above sea level. This made it a pretty scary experience for park visitors who experienced that crack. Thankfully, no visitors were injured. The park will remain closed until the broken panel is replaced. Canbus started a new bus route this past Monday that accommodates students living on the west side of campus. The West Dorm Shuttle is connecting students who live in the new Peterson Residence Hall and the surrounding dorms to the east side of campus. This new route was created to meet the demand of nearly 500 additional students who live in the new dorm. For bus schedules and new information, students are encouraged to use Bongo for accurate times. Some stores around Iowa City are open all hours, day and night. That means they have to balance their own work with the customers, even in the early hours of the day. Daily Iowan TV reporter Zhao Li spoke with employees shouldering these early morning shifts. Iowa City's local Wilson's Apple Orchard is just about to break ground on a new project after a summer that seemed custom made for growing apples. Business has been booming and they're looking to expand, but it's not in size. At the orchard will grow. Rather, the owner of Wilson's Orchard, Paul Rash, hopes to shrink the distance between local farms and local customers. Brianna Jett has the story. Wilson's Orchard. In just a few days, the University of Iowa students will be holding their student government elections. Now, this year, we have two tickets, the Block Party and the Yes Party. Daily Iowan TV reporter Zhao Li explores the Yes Party's platform. Now, Jeremy, the weather was so beautiful outside today, I couldn't imagine staying inside. And I loved being able to walk to my classes today. I had two of them, and it was just gorgeous en route to both of them. Let's toss it over to Becca Scadden in the weather studio. Hi, Becca. Did you do anything fun today to soak up the sun? Sadly, Jeremy, I was stuck in class. Well, Jeremy, a chilly start to finals week. I didn't wear my coat today, and I absolutely regretted it. Very windy, a little wet, maybe a little rain involved as well. For more on what the rest of the week looks like, let's toss it over to Ashley Kruger standing by in the weather studio. That's all we have for you tonight on Daily Iowan TV. Be sure and check out our website, dailyiowan.com, for the most up-to-date news. Daily Iowan TV, I'm Jeremy Meyer. And I'm Megan Sanchez. Go Hawks and good night.